From the outside looking in, a non-Penn Stater might think to themselves, well, who are these kids running through the streets of various parts of the Tri-State area shaking a can in my face? What is this thing that people call THON? And in truth, the Penn State Dance Marathon is a long a year-long fundraising event and awareness campaign for pediatric cancer, and it is a 46-hour, no-sleep, no-sitting dance marathon that engages more than 15,000 volunteers throughout the Penn State campus. And Don has been involved for 41 years, and the first Don took place in 1972, where 39 couples danced against the fight for pediatric cancer, and they raised $2,000. And THOM was originally started by Kappa Delta Rho and Tri Delta, two different Greek organizations on campus, which is why it was known as the IFC Panhellenic Dance Marathon, since it was started by the Greeks. And in 1982, THOM got too big, and there were too many dancers, too many people involved, so they had to move their event to another gym on campus called the White Building which allowed them to have more dancers and more members come to THON itself. And then in 1987, the dance marathon was now named THON since other special interest groups and football teams, athletics, got involved in THON and raising money for this cause that they no longer felt comfortable calling it a Greek organization. In 1997 is when THON started adding additional events to their year. So they added the... Um, the family carnival, which allowed the parents and children of the Thon families come and visit with their Penn State family and enjoy a fun day of carnivals and booths and, you know, took the cancer away from the kids for that day and, and made it very fun for them. They also have a Thon 5K, which is a race that raises money for Thon as well. It goes to the final total, and that also takes place in the fall. And in 2007, THON had its 35-year anniversary, and at that point, they had so many volunteers, so many people involved that they had to move their event to the BJC, which holds 13,000 people, and that is where THON is currently held today. And THON raises money for the Four Diamonds Fund, which was started by Charles and Irma Millard, and they started this fund because their son, Chris, was diagnosed with cancer at age 11, and they felt that they wanted to do something after Chris passed away since his story was so remarkable. And Chris ended up writing in his journal right before he passed away at age 14 about this crazy story that a knight had to save four diamonds from the evil wrath of a sorceress. And this, these four diamonds were the courage and the strength, the wisdom and the honesty that are now reinforced as adjectives that children need to describe their fight against cancer. So these four symbolic traits really, to Chris, in his mind, were the necessary facts to overcome this terrible disease known as childhood cancer. So to date, THON has raised more than $101 million for this Four Diamonds Fund, and they've helped over 2,000 families suffering from this terrible instance in their life. And the idea of the Four Diamonds Fund is to offset the cost of treatments that families have that the insurance doesn't cover. So, for example, they would cover costs of gas, getting to and from the hospital, covering the food, covering the stay, the hotels, and then the medical expenses that aren't covered by the insurance company since we know that cancer treatment is very expensive and all companies do not cover all those costs. So it allows families to forget about the mon monetary expenses and just really focus on their children and what they need to do for their children during this terrible time and how they can su support them as a mother, father, sister, brother, etc. And so we call the Four Diamonds Fund as the fund that picks up where the insurance leaves off and focuses again on the on the sole child and allowing their family members to have that time with their child um, and not have to worry about that added pressure of how they're going to pay for the treatment. So THON today, again, is still a huge part of Penn State and it's just growing and growing as the years go on. It's now a 46-hour dance marathon that has 15,000 volunteers. 300 of those are COM captains or THON captains in some way. And then three other thousand of them are parts of special interest groups for THON. So they're on a THON committee of some kind. 700 of those are dancers and then the rest are spectators. And they continue to raise money for THON throughout the year. 
And during this now, Greek orgs are involved, special interest orgs are involved, and athletes are involved, or anyone really on campus who wants to get involved in THON is permitted to go to THON. And each organization is given a THON family that they support and sponsor throughout the year. And my organization currently has three THON families, which is really, really amazing and, and not seen very often. And this is now the 41st anniversary of THON, and we're at record numbers. The BJC closes all the time since it's over capacity, so the weekend is just in, unbearably packed with people, but for a good, good, very good reason and very good cause. And this year, past THON, we raised $12.3 million, which is a record-breaking number considering the facts that we really just raised $2,000 our first THON, and look where we are 41 years later raising $12 million. And today's THON has gotten a motto, if you want to say, and the motto for THON is FTK, which stands for For the Kids, and that is said throughout the weekend, and it's something that really inspires everyone on campus to really go for these kids, raise as much money as possible, and make a difference in all of their lives. And I got involved in THON through my sorority, Alpha Sigma Alpha, and we have been the top money raiser for THON for the past few years top three Greek organizations, so it's really nice to have that opportunity to make such a difference in a child's life and a family's life, so that's why I love THON and why I've been involved for the past four years at Penn State. So all in all, in conclusion, the funds raised through THON really keep growing and growing and making such a difference in everyone's life, and it's harder and harder that we work, and these THON families love it. So throw up your diamonds whenever you can, and FTK.